Well then, today I'll be reviewing a digital music changer for a lot of cars. If you have a standard radio or something else, you can use this device and have it implement like USB sticks or SD cards or whatever. I'm doing this review in English because I know there are a lot of people on YouTube or around the world who want to see this review and maybe listen to my crappy voice reviewing uh, this product. So here we go. I love the Winnie the Pooh uh, stuff around it. You gotta give him credit for that. Here we go. This is it. It's a uh, little box which you can connect to the uh, CD changer port and if it's correct, I already told the person selling me this that he should give me a Pioneer module. Since I have not a standard radio in my car, which is a Toyota Celica from 1999. And, um, well, let's check it out what's inside the box. Features, direct connection with CD quality sound. Control digital music changer from your car radio buttons. Support USB stick and SD card. Building in high quality MP3 WMA decoder. Building in amplifier chips. Widely extend external audio sources like PC, MD, PSP, GPS navigation and mobile phone. DMC 9088A compatible with OEM radio. Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda, Toyota, Honda, Mazda, Suzuki, Hyundai, DMC 980B. Compatible with Aftermark Radio, Sony, Panasonic, Alpine, Pioneer, Clarion, Sonyo, and Blaupunkt. Well, that's probably the module. You can have the A or B version. I think I have the B version. I don't know for sure. And here you go. MP3, WMA, USB, SD, uh, PSP even, and mini disc. Sorry for the quality right now because I have to zoom in, but I can do it. If I press the button, my camera turns off. So, here we go, we have the box over here, we can flip it open, and here we have the little gadget. It's actually really nice, comes fully protected, here we go, nice big uh, power button over here with a LED, reset, uh, AUX in, or probably headphones. Here we have some switches, one, two, three, four, and on. It's so crappy that you cannot see it right now. And here we have the port. And here we have the SD and USB connection. So hang on, I'm gonna open the rest. The, uh, the CD changer cable. And I also found out, which I didn't see before, that I have to use a red and black wire course that's for power and for maybe remembering stuff it also comes with a AUX cable there you go normal jack and a USB cable which is nice it's like an extension cable and uh, a very weird orange SD card I don't know what this what kind of port is I do know that this is USB but I have no idea what this does and of course a instruction manual so uh, this cable I asked for this specific cable because I have the Pioneer radio with the CD changer cable and you can also get it in uh, another type of cable uh, which I will maybe if I can find the picture again in my email I will show you on the YouTube video but um, this is it for now I will try to hook it up in my car and then I'll give you the full review on how it's working and how the sound quality is so thanks for watching part one see you guys later